trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at this gold market. This is a monthly chart that measured to 2706. The high was 2708 so far. We backed off $50 uh, since that point. And we could easily get above this, given the fact that if you can get copper to move that much up and down in one day, you could probably certainly do that with gold. Either way, it probably wouldn't make a whole lot of difference. But let's take a look at one pattern that uh, we featured in the newsletter this week that I thought was quite nicely. This is the, the that fit nicely, I mean. Uh, bear with me here because I've got a tiny sore throat. Not much, but just a little. Hold on here. We're going to get up here and look at the daily chart. You can see this uh, beautiful chart that we had here. We had the hanging man. As you can see, we were lower this morning, and then we had I had a rally back. And one of the things that we always try to talk about is to watch for the 382 retracement. And if you just did a... 13-minute chart on this, you can see that from the high down to the low, your rally back stopped right at the 382 retracement so far, and now we're trading just about 100 points uh, under that, but that doesn't mean very much because it can easily go back and make another one. These smaller patterns are made for risk control. They're also good for profit-taking and stuff like that, but if you're in a long position and you want to keep long the Dow Jones, you can certainly do that. There's nothing in this pattern at all that looks anything of uh, any danger. The only danger would come is if we take out this low down here, another 200 points lower at 42.20. If we take out 42.20, that's another 300 points lower, then that's big problems. That would be like taking out that low right here or this low right here. So right now it's done basically nothing. This high to low right here, you'll see it on the hourly chart. Stopped at your old favorite number here. Let's just get it up here and you'll see it. There's your high, just a, sh a shade off, and I do mean a shade, off of the 786 by about 10 Dow points. And here's where we are right now. There's the 382 rally back. We're sitting right here at this level right here watching that. So that's what we're watching as we see this. Now, there's a lot of things happening with this volatility, folks, uh, much more than – a lot of people would have expected, but this is how the market operates many times. And what we're going to do now is we're going to check on some of this volatility by looking at uh, the uh, E-mini S&P. Now, here's the E-mini S&P. We had a big move today uh, in the S&P. Those of you that like ABCD patterns, my goodness, look at this. A, B, C, D, just absolutely spot on in the midst of everything that's going on in the world. You can see... Your little low ABCD pattern came in here, misses the low by about six points, and the rally back was 382 off of the high of that level right here. But that's still quite early in the game, and so you've got to be able to uh, factor that in when you're looking at either a longer-term trade or a shorter-term trade. If a short-term short trading, this might mean nothing. Long-term trading, maybe this does mean something right now. All we've done, we did have a nice A, B, C, D there at the same time. Let's draw that in and we'll be able to see it. And I will cover the bonds. Someone's asked me to cover the bonds in the notes, which I will do. But there's that pattern that we're looking at here uh, in the, uh, the S&P. Now, as we get out of here, hold on. I want to get here and I want to cover corn next. But let's I have a couple other things that are going on. We had a corn report today and it was a rather bullish you can see here, we are now getting ready to make a um, 382 pattern off of the big high way back here, back here in May. Now, let me draw that in for you so you can see it easy, because I thought this might be the 382, but the report coming out says you can't really do much with that into the report. It's a, it's a world agricultural supply demand, supply demand report. Just a second here. <laughs> 
Okay, there's where we go. At least I'm not having too many technical difficulties today. There's your ABCD leg. There's your 382 coming up in here at 32. We're almost there uh, right now. So um, I'll be watching that for a potential area for uh, some really strong resistance. Now, we're going to take a look here at the soybean contract because we're having the same situation happening in soybeans. Now, these are normal trading markets. They're not like copper, you know, $4,000 up or $3,000 up, $4,000 down. This is just a normal over the last 10 days in, in the, um, the S&P uh, soybeans. And now we're going to look at it on the hourly chart. And you're going to see that we have a nice uh, three drive to a top pattern for me here. We're just going to draw it in so you'll be able to see it. And, you know, there's your drive one right here. There's your drive two. Uh, I didn't draw it right because of the fact that it's too sensitive. But we can facilitate that by going from your high down to your low, up and around. And that would take us up here to right around 76. Now, if we go to the daily chart, you're going to see it lines up perfectly with a 61% retracement there at 1080. We're 12 cents away, folks, and we got a pretty good chance of making that. That's a very, very important 61% retracement off of that high. And if you go back to high, believe it or not, when they were tra trading um, a, a two dollars, a buck and a half bushel more, that's also uh, near, well, we're a little above the 382 right now. But there's the number for the ABCD comes in here at uh, 1082. That's 12 cents <clears throat> from where we are uh, right now uh, in the soybeans. Okay, now I've been asked to take a quick look at the bonds. So just we'll take a quick look at the bonds and then also the notes. We'll do both of them. So we'll get up here, and uh, here are the treasury bonds. I haven't even looked at them today, folks. I've been watching mainly all these other markets, and so um, that's what I want you to see. We're holding up relatively well here uh, in the bonds. We haven't made the 382 yet. We came down today. Uh, didn't do much either way. It's just setting here. It's making a pretty good bottom, in my opinion, and it looks like. We're going to get at least an A, B, C, D out of this one here because we just missed the 382 the first time. So we're probably going to get it and maybe even get as much as this. Now, remember now, this is the we're in the third day of a rally. So if we get out here on Tuesday, Wednesday, okay, then we got Monday, October 1st is tomorrow. So we get in there on the, October 2nd uh, and we're not above 2504 then that tells you that this market is not moving up as fast as it should. Because if this is a really good bottom, it should have exploded to the upside. You see, you had a good bottom here, and it rallied quite a bit. And you've all you've been able to do so far is to do exactly that. You've just matched that. That's right out of Andrew Lowe's book, uh, you know, the, the, how the non-random walk down Wall Street. I also covered that in a couple of the books that I looked at because there's nothing more – and repetition of the things you're looking at. So let's look at the biggest market in the world right now, which is the Treasury notes. And we're going to bring that up right here. Just get into the T's. There they are. And we'll move that up here. You see, we're having a tiny same thing. This is they're even they're even uh, bouncing less than the Treasury bonds. As you can see, they've held here. And all we're doing now is we're making this little correction right here. We made the 382 once. And we could we pull down here, and we've got a chance to make that into an ABCD pattern coming in here to October 1st or 2nd. That's what it's looking at. And where does it stop? Right up here at the old uh, 382 again. It's going to have some difficulty getting through that. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm having uh, technical difficulties with the sound. There's nothing else I can do. This is a 60-minute chart of Apple. Uh, it's up strong uh, again today, uh, almost ready to take the highs of September the 3rd out. Should be able to do that without too much trouble. We've been up here before, so if we look at this on the daily, you can see it's just a heartbeat away, and it should be able to take that out without too much trouble. So there's nothing negative uh, about this. And I've also been asked, to take a look at Tesla, of course. And if you'll give me a second here, I will get this up here so you'll be able to see Tesla. And we'll be looking at that uh, right in here. Uh, where are we at right there? There's where we are with Tesla. And it's probably going out. And by golly, it was up big today uh, earlier. Uh, well, it's only off a little bit. Uh, 265, looking at this on the daily, it's still moving really strongly to the upside. And uh, it should take these highs out without too much trouble at all, uh, I would think. But, you know, again, we're in a, as the old Chinese curse say, you're, may you live in interesting times. So this is what we're living in, folks. No question about it. When you see a country that did what they did, taking all thermonuclear just, boy, if they don't buy, totally unprecedented. And some people that I know who understand economics a lot better than me uh, were the ones that told me that, yes, this was a thermonuclear uh, event. And whether we're going to, you know, continue on with it, you know, have to uh, have to wait and see. Now, let's take a uh, quick look here at the uh, crude oil because it's still trying to make a bottom in here, uh, down here at the 66 and change level. You can see here, this is the action over the last few days. We've uh, made a big bottom back here on the 26th, and all we did today on the pullback was just come back to the 78% level one more time. Well, just a list between both of them, then we had a smaller ABCD. So what you want to be watching is to go to an hourly chart and see what that first 382 is going to be. And you can see we've already exceeded the first 382. And we'll just clean all this out, and you'll see there was the high right back here. And your 382 came in right there. We went above it, and then we dropped a dollar and a half a barrel, and then went back up and touched it again. So this is really strong resistance here. 
at this 38% level. That, that's very strong. On the pullback, you see, looks like it came back to, uh, as we said before, pretty close to the 78% level uh, in between both. And so if we get above here, you're going to be looking at 70, 80 for the, uh, for the crude oil because that would mean it's breaking out to the upside and you'll be watching this ABCD forming up into this area here. So getting above this level would be pretty bullish because it's tried it twice. That means there's a lot of resistance here. And if it gets above that resistance, just like it did over here, that's different. Now, this was totally different because you see, when you took out this high right here, all you were doing was completing an A, B, C, D, just like right here. You take this out, all you were completing was an A, B, C, D. And that's what you're doing when you're looking at these charts. Now, this is an hourly, so you get to look at it for about you know, seven or 10 days, but you go down to a smaller time frame, it'll help you to find those support and resistance points and that will give you some really low risk trades. And that's what you're trying to do is find the best low risk trades that you possibly can find. It's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's the key uh, to really good trading, at least from my perspective, because I don't, uh, to, the less you risk, the better off you are. Let me get rid of this uh, Tesla chart. And then we had a question about Caterpillar because it's related to the, um, grains and stuff like that. And we did have that grain report that is a little bit friendly, but not, not super friendly, but it, it was a little friendly. <laughs> They'll take any friendly so they can in that corn market because they haven't had any friends in the corn market since uh, for a very long time. Okay, here is Caterpillar, uh, a big time up today. This is one of the reasons why the Dow is not down a whole lot. You can see it's gapped up uh, again. Uh, this is where we were. Uh, Friday. Oh, actually, it's unchanged. And these are other gaps that were in here. Let's look at this on the daily because this has been going up for a very long time and making brand new highs up in here. Looks like it's going to go up forever, and it might. So keep a close eye on Caterpillar. Now, the most expensive stock in the Dow, I'm doing this because someone asked me to look at United Healthcare, and this is it right here. It should be making a high. Well, it's just bouncing. It's not really doing much. Let's go back and check the high and see if that is a 382 today from your high right here, way back at 608. You'll see it pull down and we went up to a 382 on Friday and we had another 382 today and it's drifting just slightly lower. Nothing, you know, to make uh, much uh, to do about nothing. Now, let's look at the silver market, okay? Uh, silver, like copper, should have been really active. I haven't looked at silver today, so we're going to look at it right now. And there's your December silver. We'll get this up on the hourly. Uh, well, we had a big move. We had a big move here yesterday. Uh, excuse me, on the 23rd, 26th, we had a big move up here. And then we had the move down. And all we did today, this is still acting pretty bullish, folks. This is this is silver now. Oh, dear. I just, just realized this. Uh, bear with me. I got to check something here because we are looking at a potential 382. I My eyeball tells me. That's what we hit today. So let's measure it. And, oh, boy, watch this tomorrow, folks. Uh, it hasn't bounced much today, but watch this tomorrow. This will be really important in silver because that's at roughly $31. It's, and we're at $31.44 right now. So I'm going to put my limit minder in here to be watching silver uh, at this particular point. It's going to be right at uh, – you're on the you're on the planet. <laughs> that was my friend Byron Tucker. He forgot there was there was a camera. <laughs> Sorry, not man. used not used to being on the Tonight Show, right? <laughs> anyway, three eight two comes in right there on this move uh, right here, and that's not for the the faint of heart, folks. Because if you look at this, this has basically been a almost perfectly symmetrical parallel lines. Look at that. That's just now. You think there's not some symmetry in the market? They just line up. Just absolutely uh, perfect. At least you had a clean shirt on. That's just good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are setting about a half a mile from Mar-a-Lago right now. And hold on. Let me get this out of the way. And we've already covered silver. We've already covered the, um, the gold. And we have covered the United Healthcare. And I wanted to get – I've got a break coming up here shortly. We've covered Caterpillar. Those are the main questions that we had. And I wanted to share with you something about the U.S. dollar because everybody is talking about the demise of the U.S. dollar. 
folks like Samuel Clemens, you know, uh, what was his name? Um, oh, dear. Samuel Clemens, the guy that wrote, um, oh, dear. My goodness, I can't. <laughs> Oh, dear, it's one of those times when the old age sets in and you have a thing. Uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. Mark Twain, Mark Twain, hello, operator. Anyway, he said the reports of my death are greatly exaggerated. And we're going to talk about the U.S. dollar, the dollar, the pound, the euro, and the yen. We need to talk about all of those because there's some good trading opportunities available to you. If you follow the videos that I send out, they line them up for you. So we're going to be looking at the U.S. dollar when we come back from this next break, which will be shortly. And I think The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
I don't know where we stand here, boys and girls, but I hope that uh, we have Norm Winsky coming on the air pretty soon to tell us what he has. And if not, we'll have him tomorrow. And I'm in a new environment, as you understand, and the technical situation can sometimes be a little more than this old cowboy can take, way over my pay grade, but that's uh, what we're waiting to see happening here. I'm getting a little message here. I know, Al, it was my fault. You can, um, you know, give me uh, 20 lashes, but uh, I just got a lot of things going on right now, and I forgot to write it down. That's the bottom line. Is Norman with us now? If he's not, what we're going to do is we'll have Norm on tomorrow because there's other things that I want to cover with the U.S. dollar that, in my opinion, are important. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But uh, since that's not working, I'm going to try to keep on talking about the U.S. dollar until we find out if we can get Norm in. And if we can't, I'm not going to worry about it. Here's the U.S. dollar, folks. We've been down here for five days. We've taken out the lows of December of that year. Back here, remember last year, uh, 2023, very important year. The problem is, for those of you that are really bearish the U.S. dollar, look at this on the weekly. You're looking at a major, major support line coming in here at 99, and boy, we're not very far away. And we've been down for, looking at this, we've been down for 13 weeks. So this market is scheduled to have some type of a bounce. How much of a bounce? No one knows what that is, but we'll try to find out as we go through. Looking at this on the hourly chart, you can see the action today. This came down. We matched the bottom. All we did, you can see, all we did was make lower highs in here, so it's still in a downtrend. There's no question about it. There's there's your point one. There's your point three. There's your point five. That's a one, three, five pattern, just exactly as described in the book. Uh, hold on one second as we... Get ready to draw this in. One, three, and five. You can see how they line up almost exactly perfectly. This is probably a 382, but let's just double check it for kicks and giggles. From your high down to your low, uh, goes to the 50% level. And now we're trading below the 38% level. So that's with the U with the, the dollar index. Now, if you're gonna do the dollar index, you gotta do the reciprocal of that, which is the euro. So you're gonna come over here to the euro. And you're going to come over here, and you'll be able to see it in just one second. There's where we are right here. Here's where we are. Okay, there's the euro. Oh, my goodness. Those of you that might like ABCD patterns, they're all over the map today, folks. Look at this beautiful three-drive pattern that formed up here. This is just, just absolute lovely. We'll draw that one in for you to see that. And also, we're making a 382 in the euro right now. So there is your th uh, uh, drive one, drive two, drive three, A, B, C, D. And then we had the big break, and now look what's happening. We're making nice little 382 retracement right up in here, up about another 10 to 15 pips. Now the low today was looks like just a little below the 78% level by just a hair, but this is, this is, this is the exact opposite of the euro, folks. And this is the most actively traded thing in the whole world. So when you have something like this, you got to pay close attention to it because this is real money. Even the Fed can't fool around with this for very long. They can for a shorter period of time, but not for a longer period of time. All right. Just remember that. Very, very, very important. OK, now let's get back over here and look at this dollar. Uh, the um, this is the <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. This is the high in the Dow Jones. We come up and we go exactly to within five pips of the exact 382. Now we're backing off. Now, if this is the case, and believe me, folks, these markets are going to be trading extremely volatile. If by some stretch of the imagination that we take this low out, what that means is for the next day or so, in fact, this is the first high, this is the first day down. Well, actually, this was, this was Friday's action, of course, but... This would mean that your ABCD pattern, there's your AB leg, there's your CD leg right at the 382, spot on 382. It would tell us that we're going to get down to the Dow, another 500 points in the Dow, and that is going to be really super major. Write this down here. I'm going to put, oh, there it is. I can just do it real quickly. How did that moving average get in there? Well, I can take that out without too much trouble. I don't use that, but when I hit the wrong button with an M instead of the N that I was trying to hit, 
to write in a note here, and that is major support here at 1618 at 42,000. Can you believe we're at 43,000 last Friday, folks? 43,000. It was making this pattern right here on the daily charts. That's why I said get ready because this might mean something. Uh, and so far, it's had a little bit of a correction. But look, this is nothing. Look how many days in a row we're up. We got a we got a gap of 120 points in the Dow Jones, folks. Go back and look on your charts and see how many times that's happened. All you have to do is look like a goose egg, and you'll see the same thing. Because it hasn't happened. It, those will be done. Norm is having technical difficulties, so we're going to have him on tomorrow, and we won't have to worry too much about that. Let's see how the gold clock on the wall. He's got a minute and 46 seconds, so we can cover a couple more of these currencies. And let's go to the British pound, very dear to our heart, because we have relatives over there. And the British pound is coming <laughs> coming up here just one second. And uh, here's where we are on the hourly chart. You can see we went back to this same level. And this same level, remember, on the long-term weekly is right there. You see it? We're right there. I mean, if you want to sell the British pound, this is where you can sell it. You don't have to risk very much from right here. We're at the same place we were on Friday, 130.110. And your stop's got to be at, say, 135. You got to risk $600. But, you know, that that's a that's a completed pattern that's mother, God, and country. So I, I like that trade. It works right at where it's at now, 134.10. That looks like a pretty good idea. Uh, only have to risk much. I like it quite a bit. Anyway, <laughs> Sorry, uh, folks, I didn't realize the gardeners were going to be here uh, today, so there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> Sorry, Al, I, I, don't, I have no control over this because I, I'm visiting and I, I'm just don't, I just don't have it up here. All right, let's take a little break here, and we'll be back. Jesus Christ. trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust.
For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, this is the Japanese yen on a four-hour chart. It covers the last uh, few months, as you can see here. Let me just get this in here so we can take a look at it. We'll have Norm uh, possibly tomorrow or maybe next week, depending upon scheduling of everybody else. We have the big ABCD here, uh, up here on the 27th, where we had so many things happening at that point. We had a huge break, a little below the 61% retracement, but the rally back today has not made the 382 as yet. That can, we're very close. We're only about uh, 35 pips or so away. So you want to watch that because this is still uh, a bear market. This could be the beginnings of a new bull market. But we don't know that as of yet. As long as this holds, it still looks relatively bullish. But we're lower highs all the way through here. We could not even take out the highs of September the 3rd on that big run-up on the 27th. So a lot of things happened on the 27th, folks. With, uh, you can see the explosive moves we had with everything. And now the Chinese have come out with all the stuff. So we, we're really living in historical times. Honest to goodness. It's uh, In fact, I had... Uh, to reach into my old vault of friends to find out anybody at all that could help me what was going on in the uh, the Chinese market. The fact that they did 8% in one day is just uh, unprecedented. Can you imagine the Dow being up uh, 23,000 or yeah, 2,300 or 2,800 in one day? That is a big deal. Now, let's move on here and take a look at one other one, and that is the, uh, uh, someone's asked about the uh, Canadian dollar. Let me get this up here. Excuse me. Yeah, we already did the euro. Let's get the Canadian. I don't follow the Canadian hardly at all, but I'll do it on request here, which we have right now. And I believe we're having a little bit of a rally, but this has been a uh, really tough one to, to be bullish on. You can see it's been coming down for quite some time. And all we've done so far today is to complete a 61% uh, excuse me, 50% retracement. Uh, the move just a little, just a little above the 382, a little below the 50%. There's not really much here, as far as a trading opportunity here. Not like in the in the British pound really has a good trading opportunity, folks. That that it's right up at that high again. It's a weekly high. It can take out that high of uh, of the of Friday and doesn't mean anything at all because it's in the zone of your stop. You're gonna have to risk 60 pips or roughly 360 dollars on that British pound. And we've already done the trade once, and it picked up over a thousand. So we're going to try that one again at uh, 134.10, and putting a stop at 134.80. Uh, that's 70 pips, and that's even less than $300. So that makes it uh, even better. That the loss would be less than $300, you know, if it doesn't work. So that's one that we're watching very, very closely. Now let's get on to the grains a little bit because we've had some movement here. We had a request on wheat. And I want to get their wheat up here, and we'll take a quick look at the wheat and see where we are here. This is the December wheat, of course. And uh, you can see here we had a little bit of a rally uh, into the uh, WAD report, World Agricultural Supply Demand. And I believe all we did was make a, it looks like a 78% level spot on, is my guess. Uh, misses, it by, uh, misses it by a penny. We're setting below the 61% retracement here, but there's no ABCD factor in here at all. And this is not a head and shoulders, folks. Remember, this left shoulder, okay, has to be higher than that one. 
to be bearish. You see, this is lower, so it's bullish, you see? And you've got actually higher bottoms in here. Each one of these bottoms is a little higher. So this is still in a bullish mode, and we can certainly take that out. And if it were to do that, let's look at it on the daily to see if there's something uh, even more outstanding here. Wow, we're up against this 382 on the daily again. Holy cow, this has been here. Can you believe that? Remember, remember the high in wheat a year and a half ago was $14 a bushel. This was halfway down at seven, and here we went down to five. Now we're at the 382 of this level here. If we get above here, this is could be extremely bullish in wheat, folks. Let me show you why. You've already know the answer to that, and that is in the old 382. There's your low back on August, July 29th, and you'll see there's your 382 came in here. We're right on the money. You remember we were telling you that. We had one, two, three, four, five days down, exactly at the 382, really good buying opportunity. And that tells us that if we get above this level here, which is $6, you're going to be looking at 650 in wheat, 50 cents higher, I would think with a very high probability. There's your B leg, there's your C leg, D leg, and there you are right up there at 650. And we're only 587 right now, so that difference is $4,000. So keep an eye on that. We're going to be watching it because if we get above it, we'll of course be looking for the first 382 pullback, you know, to be a, to be a buyer. All right, just keep that one in mind, and then let's move on to the cattle. Now they should have been down hard today. I haven't looked at them all day today, but remember we were trying to sell them last Friday, and we missed it by a one tick and that would have been a $700 profit but unfortunately we didn't get filled but here we're going to take a look at the Christmas cows right now and see if they're down and they didn't quite get still haven't got to that number that we were trying to get to yeah see there's where we were on Friday right here hold on one second and we'll get this up here we were trying to sell it right above here it hasn't really done it yet so we still got a chance to get filled right here so we just missed it, and then today we didn't do very much at all, so there's a nothing happening here, so that makes it uh, a whole lot easier. Remember, folks, we have a, um, a new moon coming up here on October the 2nd. That's a golden moon in uh, Chinese uh, terms. They, they have a, I think they have a week off. Uh, it's on October the 2nd, and I, we'll see if that's going to have any effect on, on these markets. But, boy, with all the news out there, it doesn't really need much you know, to get these markets moving, okay? So very, very important. Okay, we'll get rid of this right here, and we'll get rid of the wheat, because we're done with that, and we've got the British, have this in here. What else we got going on here? Um, those are the main ones that I really wanted to cover. And we'll just go here and take a look at the S&P here for a second, since we got a little bit more time. And you'll see here, all we've done so far is to make it up to the 382 off of the high we made back here on the 26th, okay, there was the lower high on the 27th, so we've got lower highs coming in here. Let's just see, well, this is a 13 minute, but it still might be a 135. Let's just check the harmonics here from your left to your right. You've got your, high. oh my goodness, tell me this is not happening. There's your one, there's your three, there's your five coming in right about here. Nice if you can find it, right? Where can you get work like this so easy? Anyway, that's what we're watching. Should we get above uh, 5802, then we got a chance to make another high up into this level. I haven't looked at the NASDAQ, but we're going to look at that right now. And we'll get it up, start with a 60 minute. It had been lower, and there's where we are. You saw the big run up we had on the 26th. We had the ABCD, if you remember here on Friday, that went to the 61% retracement. There's your ABCD pattern right here. That tells us that the ABCD move on this move should take us down to right here, which is down about another 180 points. Now, this is very important right where we are now, folks. But remember, this is an hourly chart, and we've had a big move down. So what we're going to do is to take this off, and we're going to see if this spot was an exact 382, because that would reinforce the old mathematics of this business and it doesn't make it it misses it by about 15 points which is three hundred dollars that's quite a bit uh, in mathematics terms we're going to take a break folks 877-927-6648 
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, this is the futures for the Chicago Mercantile Exchange versus the pound on the Forex. There's a 10 point difference, point one oh difference between the two because this is a verifiable contract, whereas with the Forex trades through a Forex bank, they are not. And so there's a big difference there. So if you're going to sell this futures at 134.01, where it is right now, which is equivalent to 134.10 in the futures, you got to put your stop above 130, uh, 134.80. That's going to mean it would have to take this out by quite a bit, but that doesn't mean much because when you look at this on the long-term weekly, you'll see that we've already taken that out, and uh, you know we're at a level here where we're ready to break out. Oh, the reason why is the futures doesn't have doesn't go back that far like the cash does. But this is this. Trust me on this one, folks. You don't have to trust me. I'll just do it real quickly so you'll see the futures versus the. Uh, versus the uh, cash market. And here is a cash market right here. And we'll just switch this over to the weekly and then you'll be able to see it real easy. And that's why I am so bearish the British pound because we are dancing with 786. There was last week's high, came in at uh, 4230 and we're at 4224, we're almost ready to take it out right now. So I still like it up in here. We get a little above 135. Maybe I don't like it as much, but this looks like a really nice pattern. Uh, you know, like I say, you know, sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. 
but I'm never in doubt. So make sure you put a stop in to protect yourself. You've got a price in there. It's been filled 134.10. Put a stop at 134.80. So you're risking 70 times 6 uh, 420. So you're risking uh, $280. So it's not a big deal. Well, it is. If it's not a big deal, then you shouldn't be doing it. And if you did the trade, you've already made eight ticks. So don't bother me. And we've made a couple of bucks. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. <laughs>